This is the Rep to Habitat from PetSmart. This is a mm -hmm. pair of scissors. And uh, EA Jr. is going to give you a little bit of a, uh, a background in a minute. And we're going to set this up. This is our first, his first, Leopard Gecko. So give him a, let's see what it looks like. So check it out. No, take him out of there. Oh. Put him in your hands. He is fresh off the truck. He just arrived today at PetSmart. This is him. Pretty, it's pretty cool, huh? Yep. He's done a lot of research and a lot of studying here. You keep him in your oh, hand. okay. On everything you need to care for these things. But even yep. though you think you know everything, the, the fella at PetSmart uh, gave us a few more tips that were great. Yep. All right, so slide him back in here. All right. There you go, buddy. <clears throat> I don't think he wants to go back in. Right, hang on to him for a minute then. Uh, all right. These bricks are cool. So we've had his mat on. We've got it unplugged now. And we let him uh, kind of sit back in there now in a little warmness. So now what does this thing come with? Yeah. Snap it up and let's see. Let's see. So we have a mini combo deep dome lamp. A leopard gecko care guide. But if you're getting a leopard gecko or any animal, you kind of want to read about it before you drag it home. Food and water dish. Slow down a little bit. Let's look at them individually. Right. So this is two different dishes. Yes, food and water. Mm-hmm. And this is, I believe, the actual one they had in the tank there. This is Repti Safe that you pour, pour in your water. You have Repti Calcium. And your blue light and red light combo thing. Thermometer. And lastly, your substrate, which we're not actually going to use. We got a different substrate to use. Yeah, we'll do some of this in the yard because this stuff should not be used with leopard geckos. Isn't yes. that right? Everything they can we have read, it and it can they can ingest really it. So it's kind of strange that they put it in there. Reptivide. So let's show what are we going to use in replacing the Reptisan. Eco Earth, which is a, probably the best option for leopard geckos. Do you have to buy it in a big bag like that, or does it no. come another way? How else does it come? You can buy it in kind of bricks, mm -hmm. or you can, when you pour water on them, it loosens up. And How big are the bricks? This. They're like the size of a real like brick? the size of this right here. <clears throat> you just put Pretty it in water just... and it swells up. Uh-huh. So you just, we just decided to go with a bigger bag to get a good start and we got some other things with it too yes. so that was those are the things that came with it it does and then not the use hides though so you can get and for those who don't know it a hide is somewhere for it to hide yes you know how you gotta no matter what you're into whether it's harley davidson's or or amphibians or reptiles you have your own lingo so it's kind of a house yeah but they call them hides yeah so why don't you call these bowls eats? Because why don't you call his food bowl eats, or his water bowl water? Where does his water? Where does his eats? Where's his hides? <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? It gets a little cheesy after a while. Yeah. So what is then, this? So this was I actually didn't know about this. This is moss, and it helps keep humidity in um, in your tank. Yeah, because the fella at PetSmart said he said. 
they like a humid environment. And I was like, uh oh, how are we gonna do that? So what did he say do with this stuff? He said to get the moss and put it in one of your hods. So So actually put this moss in a hot. Put some of that stuff in there, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do you get this how wet do you get this? Not like dripping or is it just wet? I'm and... not sure. Okay, so there's our pile of stuff. What is that key on the bottom? I don't know. We're about to see. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Yeah. So how much was this little thing? $29.99. $29.99. Let's move over here. Um... So here's the deal. It, well, like he was saying, it came with zero places to hide, right? Pretty much. Zero homes for your gecko. It came with zero. most of what you need, though, like the calcium. The and really you would think, because this was one twenty nine, right? Yeah. And then we would pay for yeah. that. And it didn't come with a single piece of Hot. Chinese plastic, which is kind of a bummer. Because that's what that is. Yeah, that's a that's... bunch of cereal box toys glued into one. Or old trash bags or a bunch of straws from California that they don't use anymore. And they made them into that. So. So you get these things. The heat lamp didn't come with it either. The heat lamp was separate. Heat or the heat map. pad. Heat really? pad was another $19, right? And really, you don't need the lamps. They don't bask. Leopard geckos don't bask at all, so they wouldn't really need this. But they still included it. They need a heat mat, though, so they can keep their stomachs and their bellies Oh, okay. Up. Okay, so I think I stopped the camera for a minute to think and do some math, because I thought that we didn't need this, but every leopard yeah. gecko setup I saw has that. Because if yeah. your tank isn't warm enough, then you need to get it warm enough yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. And if you have one of these, don't let that get near it. Ever. This little booger's ready to get out. Yeah, he is. So we're gonna get it all set up and then we'll be back. Okay, it's been a while for us. It's only been like a split second for y'all. So what have you got done so far? Um, we have both the hides. There's a heat mat under Remember that Remember the hides is just its little house. Mm -hmm. There's a heat mat under that one. So that's the warm side. This is the cold one. So what what's what do you mean warm and cold side? What's the, the difference? The heat mat um under the substrate or under this in the tank keeps him warm, his stomach warm. He's actually under there right now. So the the you put the heat pad under here. Does mm -hmm. it just sit under there? Or how does it work? It's an adhesive you just stick on. So it's like a sticker, okay. Mm -hmm. And then this one's cold. It's just, there's no heat mat or anything. It's just there for another thing you can go in there and hot in. And then it's water dish and a little dish of calcium, which they need this. They need a little dish like each day of calcium. So they just take a lick when they want it, huh? Uh-huh. It's just like a salt lick for a cow or something. Yeah, it keeps them strengthens them and stuff like that and we decided we didn't need he wasn't you're not going to use a giant bowl right probably not why aren't you going to use a bowl it takes up a lot of room no but so how else are you going to feed it probably just put the millworms in there and let it chase them uh-huh or if that doesn't work then we can always go back to the bowl so we're going to try to do mm -hmm. heat lamps the heat lamp now but the concern is you say you've read that the red one is not good for reptiles' eyes? Yes, it could damage them. Oh, that's interesting. So why would PetSmart put that in the same kit? Same reason they put the reptiles in, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, there it is. That's going to be the official setup until we get a spot where we can either hang the lights or find a good safe way to put it on top. And it came with the bulbs. The kit came with the bulbs. Now this setup here alone was like seventy something dollars. So that does kind of help to get the whole one hundred and thirty dollar kit or so. But after the addition of what else did we get? After the addition of this, that hide. No, not this. No, that, that, that hide. That hide. And worms and stuff. We we're yeah. at about two thirty, so uh -huh. a little bit more. So, anyway, 
we're done. So stay tuned because what's your plan next for the next video? Maybe show progress of what's going on and everything. Yep. Mm -hmm. He or she is hiding out in there now. I figured out how to. Can we can we look at it again, or do you want to hold off there? Give us another peek. People watch leopard gecko videos. They want to see leopard gecko, not a bunch of plastic stuff. I will lift it for you, and you can. Uh, we'll do a little peek. I want to show you something real quick. So the temperature in there is what right now? Seventy. It, is... it should be higher. Okay, we're working on that. The heat mm -hmm. pad under here is doing its trick. Now I'm gonna lift this. Where is he? He's right there. There he is. Let's check him out again. You know what? We might be able to leave him right there. You hold this. All right. And I'll let y'all get a little inside peek of him. So that dirt, which ain't really... Oh, yeah. It's nice and toasty. Okay. So you're going to have to pick him up. Yes, I will. So we can put this back in. Then y'all can watch him run in there. Oh, whoa. You need to work on a better lighting setup for the next video. All right, so we'll put this back in the same spot. And this substrate on the side, it kind of got moist because you do need a little bit of a human environment, so you'll need to get a uh, spray bottle, right? Yes. Okay, turn around here in the light. Let's check him out. He's a pretty lively little fellow, huh? Yeah. Who he's looking at? If his eyes are completely open and he's active and stuff, then he's healthy. That means he's healthy. Cool. So he's doing great. All right, we'll put him in uh, his thing and let's watch him phone home. There he goes. Heading back to his spot. I wish you could see him there better. Like I say, he'll get a better setup for the next video. And then he gets all warm up. Thanks for watching my videos. So we're done. What'd you say? Sorry. Thanks for watching my videos.